Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. My name is Mark Gingrass. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to not have to use RMD files anymore. You say, what? Whoa, 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 what do you mean no RMD files? Yeah, the notebook file or the markdown file is actually a duplicative effort. We don't need them. To narrate our code, to give it more context, we actually don't need to use those files. So what I'm gonna show you is um, you know, the dry method, don't repeat yourself method. And so stick around for this one. It's gonna be a quick five minute tutorial and you guys will appreciate this one. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we have a blank page. I've got a new project. I've got an R script called test.r ready to go. And you're thinking, okay, this is an R script. Okay, why, why do I care? Well, R scripts can be sourced, right? I can have a program call an R script. I can have my Windows task scheduler, which look out for the next episode of this tutorial. I'm gonna actually teach you how to source using the task scheduler um, on a cadence, like a daily thing. So look out for that. So anyways, um, what I wanna do is I wanna be able to create these documents that can go into specified folders and do certain things but all within an R script, not an RMD file. I don't wanna to have to call knit or knitter or anything like that. So let's jump right into it. Um, what we do is we have the special syntax for it. So this is an R script. Remember the comments are the hashtag or the pound like I have here, right? That's it, that's just a comment right there. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit. And so we have the hashtag and then you wanna use the single quote, the one right next to the enter key. Usually your pinky finger will hit it. And once you do that, you can hit space, dash, 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 this is my YAML code. Notice, now I hit enter. Notice what happened. Uh, it automatically put in the hashtag and the single quote and the space. So now I wanna add a title, colon, say this is my title and I always double caps on the this, that's fine. I am the author, so we'll just put my name on there and we can add a date if we'd like. Um, I don't know what the date is, July, 28th maybe, 2020, whatever you wanna add. So there's your YAML dot 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 or, space, or dash 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 to close it. Now I don't need any more comments. Now those are comments, they're not gonna be executed. They will not be executed by the R script. When I run the R script, that's all there is to it. So I can show you now if I do plot and I just put in the car data set in there. Let me uh, back out here and I'm going to run this. Let me jump up here. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to line one and hit control enter or command enter if you're on a Mac. You'll notice that it skips one through five and it goes straight to running the plot. Uh, of course, car's not found because it's, oh, car's not found. Car not found, there's cars. Boom, it shows up, there it is, right? But again, I started on line one and it skipped all this because it's not code, it's commented. That's fine and dandy, so let's add some more. Let's pretend this is our R markdown, but we're gonna add our little special pound quote, single quote, space. Now I'm gonna add a narrative. I'm gonna say, this is my header. This is my header. And then I'll just say down here, um, learn about the cars data set, right? And then I can just literally, I'm gonna control S and save this. Again, we can run the whole thing again. I can close out this plot, start on line one. There's only one line of code in here. Boom, there it is. It ran the one line, but that's not cool. We wanna, we wanna send this document to management for their evaluation, right? So let's do, we're gonna do our markdown in the console, render, and we're literally just gonna type in our test.r. In fact, before I hit enter on that, let's go to the files here. I'm gonna delete my test.html because that's not something you should have at this point. So it's gone, it does not exist. I have a test.r and that's it. Now when I run this R markdown render with the test.r in there, it's going to evaluate this as if it was an R markdown file. So it's an R script, but it's gonna evaluate it. So now if I go to test.html, view in web browser, move this right over there, you can see that I have the header um, or this is my header right here, right? It's a different size. I can do bold, I can do italics. Let's, in fact, let's do a couple, a uh, couple more in there. Let's, let's just say pound single quote and say, this is, this is bold text and this is italic. 
right? Control S, again, come back down to the console, run that R markdown render, and you're good to go. Boom, boom, boom. So now you have your bold text and your italic in there. It works really good. Um, now, the point of this is you create one file and that's it. So you don't want to have to mess with an R script and an RMD file and all kinds of things. Because when you make a change to the R script, you forget to change the RMD file. It, it causes problems. So keep that dry principle. And if you guys find these videos helpful, it would help me out if you can like them, comment. Comment if you have any problems or issues. Join the Discord. It helps me out if you subscribe. And most definitely, if you share these videos on social media, it helps me out tremendously. So see you guys in the next video.